back at it. Another episode of the Cobra Daytona Build. So last episode, I talked about the difference between Superformance and Factory 5. Hopefully everybody got something out of that. Um, as I said, Factory 5, race car for the street. Superformance, street car that can be used on the track. So totally different. But I also promised you to look at my new wheel. So I've only got one, three more being made. So let me show you what I've got. So, so this is the 18 by 10. Um, just so everybody's got the dimensions. I know these things are gonna fit perfect. This is an 18 by 10 by five with a five and a quarter inch backspace. Uh, the rears are gonna be 18 by 12 with a five and three quarter inch backspace. But the fact that the wheel's two inches wider means this will be set further into the wheel. Plus, um, I'm gonna show you the back side of this. Hopefully here without dropping it. So the guy that's doing these wheels, um, he's actually taking this part and he's milling this down as flush as possible. So right now, uh, this basically clears the caliper by about a 16th, maybe an eighth of an inch. The rear will be the same, which the rear, I can actually mill the rest of this off. Um, so we're gonna mill another half of an inch off the back of this. I forgot to get some tape off the back of that. There we go. Um, so we'll mill another half an inch off of this, plus the wheels two inches de uh, deep set, de uh, two inches further out. So we're gonna be about two inches more lip. Let me move this thing back around. Um, hold on here. So this, this will actually be another two inches further back. So it's going to give me kind of that, that, that staggered look um, that I so like. Um, and then this is kind of the Golf livery GT40. The base of the wheel is a Alola T70 recreation. Um, they're not the lightest wheels out there, but they stretch the imagination. So if somebody's looking for a light, 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 this wheel is like 23 pounds, not that light. Uh, because it's a recreation of something they could have and this is a forged two-piece wheel by the way You've got this uh, forged thing goes in gets welded onto the barrel and the barrel is forged um, So these things could be made a lot lighter You could make lighter wheels cut a lot of this stuff out. Uh, these things are way overkill plenty strong But it recreates a wheel. So what do you do? Um, as I said, uh, not super light, uh, but should be plenty strong and definitely I love the look so I think it'll match. And by the way, yes, the orange is the same color that's used on the car. Um, I think it's going to tie the car in nicely. And then I'm going to paint the uh, exhaust, which you can see behind here. I've got exhaust video coming up because um, I've got some new mufflers being made for the twins. Um, I got tired of those singles. I mean, they, they sound perfect. Uh, the sound is great, but I want those twins on there. I want that look. I want them white. So I've got a guy that's making two mufflers for me that I'll have to weld them up. And if these things work, I will shout it out and everybody will know where to, to get them from. So I'm gonna do some decibel meter tests. That should be coming in the next week or two. The muffler should be here later this week. So I'll try to get this video up in the next few days, maybe right before Thanksgiving or something. But uh, yeah, this is one of uh, four, one of three more coming. And uh, yeah, and I'm still working on my center caps. Right now he's got his own logo in there, which I pulled out. Um, so I'm thinking I might uh, put some uh, Terralingua Rabbit in there. Uh, that's just kind of a print right now. We'll see. I, some of that, I don't want anyone to really know where these wheels come from. Um, so right now it's top secret, but the guy does a good job. So a lot of custom work and to make sure they fit right up against caliper and should be should be good good looking wheel. I mean, not that these F14s are bad looking wheel, just too modern. Uh, I want something a little more old school. And uh, so these things, the F-14s will be for sale. Uh, I've already got a couple of guys interested. But uh, here it is. Hopefully you all like it. I think it's gonna look amazing on the car. So thanks again for watching. As I said, the build continues slowly but surely. Drive it, I've almost got 4,000 miles on the car and uh, we're actually starting to do body work. I'll show you. So I got this whole door. This door is now fitted perfect. Gaps here is good. I got to gap the bottom a little bit. I'm gonna have to add some glass into here to tighten that gap up. But other than that, it is flush all over. Fits very, very nice. Um, gotta start the passenger next. So thanks for watching. Hit subscribe, uh, hit that like button, and uh, we'll keep these videos coming at you until you scream no more. Thanks again, and have a great Thanksgiving if I uh, don't throw up another video.